Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am back with a 10-day video. Yes, I think I've covered this before. Gosh, it's so easy to fall behind on these challenges. And it's funny because I know a lot of us artists already draw once a day, but then when we're, when we're like obligated with a challenge, we're like, hey, I'm gonna fall behind, I can't do it. <laughs> well, in my case, it was because I actually went to Florida for a family vacation. Um, Steven was working, so I went with my parents because they do Biketoberfest. Yes, my mother and my father both own their own Harley Davidsons and go to Biketoberfest every October and March. They, they actually said they've been doing it for the last 16 years and I was like dang so um I always try to go with them as much as I can because I mean that's a perfect opportunity to like be a freeloader and live in your parents hotel room or um <laughs> rented house be able to house or mooch whatever off of them and <laughs> because Disney World's like an hour and 20 minutes away and you know honestly I wanted to maybe have a little story time on my experience with Disney World during a dun 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 pandemic. Be prepared if you are planning a trip anytime soon with all these social distancing guidelines and everything that's going on. Be prepared. Life is different. Just like it is everywhere else, everything is a little bit different. Yes, you've got to wear your mask the entire time. Um, they will, like, they'll a lot of cast members were like yelling at us like pull it over your nose or i saw a guy get stopped because he was drinking water while he was walking and one cast member was like you gotta do that and stand still and do it and i'm just like it's hot outside we gotta go places i don't know i didn't really agree with that and you're probably thinking to yourself well priscilla you should be grateful because you've actually got to go to disney world and a lot of the disney parks are still not even open and you know what i was i was really grateful however it was like you know a big reveal just knowing that things are different and you think you know you you've been to this place so many times and you think it's gonna be normal and you show up and it's like ugh. the park was at um, half capacity and it was just it was a little eerie and I wasn't a huge fan that the decorations the fall decorations they weren't all up the only fall decorations that were up were the Mickey wreaths and I love the fall decorations. I always try to go in October so I can see those decorations. The um, Main Street wasn't decorated. They didn't have the big Mickey pumpkin at the entrance or the scarecrows. And it was just, it's sad. It's, it's, it's like really shocking walking in and seeing it as empty as it is. There are no character meet and greets, but they have fun little cavalcades, like parade cavalcades, and you get to see them um, on their floats and dressed up in their Halloween costumes. And they're still singing boo to you which I'm a huge fan of I love boo to you and I love I, I love that I got to see the characters like up in the second story or on their little parade I, I gotta say the line system is awesome there are no fast passes but they've got some kind of chick-fil-a thing routine going on with their lines because we were on and off on and off and they were sanitizing the the rides in between us getting on and off on and off it was really consistent and it really wasn't as consistent before like the pandemic and so that was really nice and well what also was nice is i actually prioritized riding all the rides at disney world as much as i could because when i go i usually love watching the shows or the parades or the fireworks and it was nice to not have to go and grab a spot and wait for that so nobody would steal your good spot so you could enjoy the shows or the fireworks or parades and that was nice being able to just you know walk around do whatever i want go on to whatever ride i want and uh, um, if you have any technically challenged people with you, as in they don't know how to work a smartphone, ordering food is a little bit different because, you know, you have to order it on your phone. And it was just, it, I was with my mom. She's not good with a smartphone. And if it weren't for me being with her, she probably would have not eaten anything the whole day. So that's really different. You have to order your food on your phone and then go pick it up. It was really nice because I didn't have to wait in the line to get a Dole Whip. I just ordered it on my phone and I was like, oh, window number two, it is ready. And I just walked up and like, yes, those are mine. Thank you. Have a good day. And so that, that was nice because I was able to walk up, grab my Dole Whip and go. Because usually I have to wait 20 minutes in a line for a Dole Whip. So that was nice. It was nice prioritizing the ride. Overall, yeah, it was, it was, it was fun. 
it was different um just you know be prepared i miss the way i think everybody feels like this i miss the way things were in 2019 it was it was good and you know you never know what you got until it's gone but yeah <laughs> that's what i have to say about disney world right now but yeah I mean, had to experience. I think I got like two, I collect those little pennies that you press and everything for destinations. You know, you turn the dial thing and it presses the pennies. And I went and purposefully went into the Emporium to get a 2020 penny just to say I was here during this time. <laughs> and I think honestly, that was the only, only souvenir thing that I bought other than food was my pennies. I didn't even want to buy um anything because it was just like ugh, yikes but it was funny because back in the corner of the emporium was a whole sale section it was all 2020 merchandise and none of it was being purchased it's just like nobody wants to remember so there you go now you know why i drastically fell behind i'm still trying to catch up i really am trying hard to catch up um and I will have like another five days. It, what's difficult is I can't just work on my Inktober projects because I've committed to drawing every single one in front of the camera. So it's hard to set up a camera and to set up the sketchbook and make sure you have the right lighting in that space or to have a good seat to sit in. And that's what was really difficult for me is to actually sit down and record every single one of these because it was just, you know, that's the only problem with me because I was traveling and I could not sit down and, and record. And I actually did record like four videos before I left and then I still fell behind. <laughs> of course I did. But yeah, this is a fun video, 10 days all together so you guys can see each process. But yeah, I will see you guys on the 25th now that I am in a stationary position as in here, my home. Back. Back to life. <laughs> but yes, guys, we're almost done with Inktober in October. I will see you all later. Bye!